him whatsoever. He just goes on with it. He loves his football. He, you know, he just gets on with, on with his job and um, ask him to miss out a training session or, or, or to rest for a game. And, and that's probably the only time you will upset him. There is still a debate about him, of course, Jamie. And that's about whether he's a Lionel or a Lionel. Well, I don't, I don't know the answers to that. Well, he's actually informed me earlier on that it is Lionel. Is that correct, Ida? Very true, very true, Jamie. For what reason? For the reason being that uh, his father is a, is a very big Lionel, Lionel Richie fan. <laughs> 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 Sounds silly, but actually a fact. <laughs> so he's not Lionel anymore, yeah. it's Lionel. Well, it's well, Lionel. We're all big fans of Lionel and Messi in that, because there are two, two very different types of goals in that first leg from Messi. He, Graham. Yeah, but he scores all, all sorts of goals. I mean, he's just a, a very, very special player. Every time he plays, because he runs with it, and he's not yeah. the biggest, but he's certainly the bravest, and he sees danger. We talk about, you know, having the picture in your head, he sees danger before these defenders are trying, trying to even think about leaving a bit on them. He knows it's coming. He's under your arm as well, Graham, all the time. He looks like one of those sort of, It was one of those I was there moments. You know, when I see that goal, I was in the stadium and I just, I, I turned around to the guys I was with and I said, well, we'll talk about that goal forever. It's genius. It was absolute genius. The ball is like it's, Vel as Graham says, it's like it's Velcro to his foot mm. and he's brave as a lion. I tell you what, he takes knocks, he gets himself up. He, he's a different class footballer. Uh, but by haven't given up hope. They could end their decade-long wait for the one trophy they have won more than any other. Barcelona have more resources at their disposal tonight than they did in the first leg. Strengthened in attack with the return of Andres Iniesta from injury. That's the only change from the Bernabeu. It means Pep Guardiola calls on his first choice attacking front five, three of whom make up the world's top three players. Xavi, Iniesta and Lionel Messi, one goal short of Ruth van Nistelrooy's Champions League record for a single season. I've heard his team talk, Bill. I think he would have needed to deliver one of his most inspirational. It has poured down and they did get the sprinklers on as well whilst it was raining. It was a dry pitch at the Bernabeu, maybe at Mourinho's insistence, but this is anything but. And Busquets goes in, play goes on, now Messi, first chance for him to stretch his legs. Marcelo just did enough to put him off his stride. Still Messi bears down, pressure on Casillas. And it's Higuain who's missed, large swathes of the season through injury. They get a hat-trick a couple of weeks ago against Valencia. Here's Messi, halted unfairly, and I think we may see the first booking of the evening in the 13th minute, Carvalho in the book. That was interesting, the lads talking beforehand about the fact that Messi doesn't go down. If he doesn't have to, always oh, normally tries to stay on his feet. Messi, listen to the roar as he strides forward. He's out of the way by Diara. Shoulder to shoulder, says the referee. Old fashioned shoulder to shoulder, which he's allowed to get away with. Now Messi. Lionel Messi trying to tee it up, blocked away by Carvalho. Marcelo recovered well. It's still not away though. Messi almost got in Pedro's way, tried the back heel. Still Messi. And eventually Marcelo forced to concede the corner. He did have a chance to team hotel. So he may well be watching from there and watching Messi come forward and well crowded out. I just don't want to get into these situations. Chasing after Messi. Yet again, Diara getting the foot in. Unfairly this time, the ref thinks. Messi. Nervously at the referee Ricardo Carvalho and well mighty he's already ended up in the book once Well for an experienced player it was a silly challenge on the halfway line One of those that probably would have produced the yellow card if he hadn't already been booked A little chance for him to take a bite at Messi Now Xavi, now Messi Messi Lionel Messi and Casillas saves but spills and he's recovered. It's so hard, isn't it, to stay with them when they play with that kind of fluidity. They always find the spare man. One or two pockets of space opening up there on the edge of Vale's box. As now he's got it. Messi brings it down beautifully. Lionel Messi! Well, you sense that it is coming the first goal in this match 
It's coming to Barcelona. Messi increasingly influential. Could have easily have gone down under Alonso's challenge. And he knew he had a chance to get his shot away. Villara. That pressure, that battle, dispossessed. It's Messi on the run. He hasn't got another one in here, has he? He's found Villa! Super save from Casillas. Messi! Well, that's the save to keep Real Madrid in the semi-final. Barcelona, the team on top, winning their individual battles, finding space in dangerous areas. He gets crowded out of it, Diara. All of a sudden, you've got Messi running at you, which is not a situation you want to find yourselves in, but... He can't manage it. Now Messi. Just about kept out, but he hasn't finished yet, Messi. Nor of Barcelona, David Villa. Little touch from Pedro, it's Messi! And he's hit his head against Arbelo. It wasn't so much the challenge from Asana Diara. It was when he went to ground. Whacking against the knee of the right back. Iniesta closed out by uh, Real Madrid pair. And another one from Carvalho. And once again, he's imploring the ref not to take action. And he's testing the ref's patience here with one or two challenges. Might be yet another case of Real Madrid playing against ten men at some point here. Dani Alves. Look at Messi, scything through the middle. Iniesta, Messi leaves it to Pedro! Real Madrid carved open! The road to Wembley opens up! That should really be that! Well, talk about a clinical through ball. And you've got players like Andres Iniesta in possession, in space, with time. And when he can do what he just did with a defence splitting pass, absolute beauty. They've passed up one or two chances tonight. And they weren't going to pass that one up. Talking about a moment ago in this second period, in the second leg. That's irrelevant. Here's the dip. It's a couple of matches. Messi. It goes to ground. It's very congested. The referee are judging that there was a Real Madrid foot to halt the little Argentinian. And Ronaldo, quite fortunate to get away with that. Intentional trip. Messi. Acceleration caught by Alonso. It's loose. It shall be Alonso. They've beaten him. All ends up messy. Pictures speak for themselves there. Nowhere near the ball. The goals in that 5 0 win here in the league. Messi skips away from Carvalho. Bounces off Albiol. Back comes out of Bayo. Now Messi makes his move, tries to divert his header goalwards, doesn't do a bad job given where it was. Super run from PK ahead of him. And really able to pick out Pedro, Messi, just will not give anything up. He's fouled, Marcelo's going to be in trouble. The surprise if it was anything more than a yellow, but you never know. Not in these Clásicos. It always looks worse when the, the surface is wet and you... Keep on sliding. That's the right decision from the ref. Easy for the official to be influenced by the crowd or baying for blood. When you think of those Carvalho challenges, they're a lot worse than that. To learn her out, then that'll be enough for them. That's the equation. Sounds simple, doesn't it? And on a night like this against a side like this, who at times have hit the heights that we.
Pedro, looking for Messi, it's a lovely looking ball. Messi in that sodden corner. thing for Barcelona is they haven't suffered from injuries in those positions, have they? Villa and Pedro have been there week after week alongside Messi. Quite understanding. Tell you what, that was a super, if high risk, challenge from Marcelo, having just been booked. like Jose Mourinho's rewriting of records in the Champions League of becoming this year the first manager to lead a side into four semi-finals with four different clubs will end just there Sounds yet another foul from Carvalho now goes Messi Adebayor he's not going to get away with any more well, he is last chance and maybe he said something. There is the yellow card. He probably should have got it anyway, to be fair. Next match looks like being next season. Shabby standing over it. Messi takes it.